What do you hear from your voters in Alabama about that issue of education? Yeah, that is what people are talking about. People are talking about inflation, they're talking about crime, and they're talking about education. Interestingly, as a mother myself, you know, all of my friends are talking about what our children are being taught in the classroom. It's a real thing. We want to make sure our children are educated and not indoctrinated. We've seen um, the past two years when children were locked out of the classroom. We've seen in the NAEP scores over the country where we're down, you know, seven points in math and five points in reading. We know that matters. You know, if a child's not reading on grade level by third grade, mm -hmm. their chance of graduating high school goes down four times. Your kids are how old? My kids are seventh and eighth grade. Okay, I mean, this, so yes. th this hits close to home, yes, doesn't it? Yes, it is. And, you know, we want them to taught the fundamentals. We want them to be taught to love this nation, to stand for the flag, be taught history, be taught math, be taught reading, um, not to be indoctrinated with woke ideology. And so do you think that there's something that can be done, that the Republicans have some momentum Absolutely. here. Because for a long time, people thought, oh, if you ask that poll question, yeah. Democrats were usually up. Now it's basically tied. Right. The Republicans have this place. We saw the race in Virginia with Glenn Youngkin. Um, so there's education. You also have a concern about mental health and, and Absolutely. fentanyl. Absolutely. And crime. I mean, all of these things that are happening across the country are happening in Alabama as well. And it's, it's real. I'll tell you, there is no probate judge, no hospital administrator, no law enforcement officer, and no teacher that doesn't tell me mental health is one of the top issues they deal with every single day. We are looking at the effects of fentanyl. As we know, under Joe Biden, every state has become a border state. When you look at the drugs pouring over our border that have made it not only into our communities, but into our classrooms, we have had 15 uses of Narcan on classroom, in, in the classroom this year to save students. This year? This year. And it's October This 18th? year, this year. Wow. And so folks, it's real. We're watching, there's nowhere that I go that I don't talk about fentanyl and opioid use, that I don't have someone walk over and say thank you for bringing wow. attention to this. Uh, I went and looked to a lot of your previous statements with regard to China, with regard to election, protecting democracy. And on, on the border, however, you say, I am horrified and disgusted by what's happening Absolutely. right now at our southern border. Absolutely. A lot of Republicans don't talk that way. Oh, no, we Why have not? to. We have to. It is open season right now under Joe Biden for human traffickers, for drug cartels, and for terrorists. You know, make no mistake, what is happening is affecting our communities. It's affecting our way of life. You're seeing moms and dads get off the sidelines across this nation, from school boards to U.S. Senate races, because we see the country we know and love dissolving under Joe Biden's leadership, and we have to stand up. And it is disgusting. And if the trafficking, I mean, the drugs, all of it, um, it's real, and we can't turn a blind eye. We have to speak up for our children. On the main issue of inflation, how does, what, how does Will Boyd, your opponent, you know, talk about the real costs of what's going on right now with people you know, paying higher it, gas prices and food prices? To, as typical, you see Democrats deflect and try to change the narrative to something else. And the truth is, inflation is real. I mean, when I am traveling the state, Dana, you know, I had, you know, not, it's not, not only moms and dads and working families, it's retirees. I had a gentleman stop me at a gas station and he said, are you Katie Britt? And he said, I am 77 years old. I've done everything they told me to. And I am now, I'm trying to retire and I was gonna spend time with my grandkids, but I'm picking up the night shift here wow. because I cannot make it. Wow, so, that's a similar so, story. Yes, and we need to be energy, not only energy independent, but energy dominant.